ball, he has it back. Now back to Isan. Isan to Vis. Vis spins out, but he'll be dispossessed. In fact, he wins it back well, though. And here's Isan into the box for Chesham. Spins one towards the far stick, and what a finish that is. Chesham United hit the front. Just when I was saying that the game would have no goals in it, in the opening 15 minutes, they scored after just 11 minutes. It was all down to Mitchell Vise's hard work. He won it back for Chesham United inside the Weymouth half. Set up Isan and Isan did the rest, curling it in at the far post. Keelan O'Connell's looking to make some space. Now Bartolo gets on the turn, cuts onto his left foot. Still going Bartolo. Edge of the box. Robinson strikes and that one's blocked away. Bearwish, will he have a go? No, he instead stands one up towards the back stick where O'Connell's waiting. O'Connell gets his head to it, but not enough on that to beat Ben Good from that distance. And Good just collapses on the ball. Gordon Thompson on the far side. O'Connell shows for it, but instead Thompson goes long. Brooks off the inside. Lafleur misses his header and now Calvin Brooks has a chance to go forwards. Brooks on the byline, gets his cross in low, Bartolo's there, he strikes at it, he can't get there in the follow-up from Andreas Robinson. In fact, no, sorry, Christy Ward was saved at the last minute by Good. Greenwood then, sweeps this one in towards the back stick, Jordan awaits, Jordan couldn't redirect that header across goal. And out for a Chesham goal kick. Long ball forwards then. Brooks wins his header and Bartolo will try and get onto that. It's a loose header. Here comes Bartolo. He gets there first but can't quite get on the rebound. Weymouth still under attack here. Uh, on attack, sorry. Keelan O'Connell down the line to Greenwood. Greenwood gets his cross. Bartolo again with the header and can't quite redirect that one. A goal but Bartolo, he's looked busy on debut for Weymouth. Unlucky not to get that second ball. And there goes the half-time whistle. And for both sides, I, I would say a perhaps lacklustre opening 45. But one side will definitely be the happier going into this half-time break. That being Cheshire United after Samson Isan's uh, opening goal. This corner then will be sent towards the back stick. Jordan heads it clear. Gallimore into the box and he strikes. It sat up nicely for him. But that one wheels away over the top left corner. And out for a Weymouth goal kick. Here comes Keelan O'Connell, strikes away, blocked by Chesham, out. And a misplaced header from Robinson allows Isan to get onto it. Isan certainly isn't slow. On the edge of the box is Samson. Isan now strikes across goal on his weaker left foot, but couldn't find the back of the net there. Here we go then, it struck low, and that's a really good claim from Will Buse. Ball towards the back post, headed back across goal. A brilliant save from Buse, was backtracking. It looked destined to go in. Buse with a superb flapping save. Now on the edge of the box, blocked away by Ben Greenwood. And again, Will Buse coming up with exactly what's needed to keep the ball out of the net. We will have another throw in opportunity for Corley. Corley looks for Vies, away by O'Connell, only as far as Connors. Connors strikes on his right foot, it's going to drop to Minhas, good save by Buse, and cleared away. The flag did stay down, so it would have counted. What a fantastic save that is from Will Buse. McCoy coming forward to find Greenwood. Greenwood into O'Connell, O'Connell draws the foul and gets play going quickly. Finds Christy Ward, Ward onto his right foot now, back to O'Connell. O'Connell gets his cross in towards the back stick. Maguire Drew can't quite get there and it will be a goal kick for Chesham United. Of course, Torre is the top scorer for Weymouth so far, but back to the game as Vies is in behind. The flag is up. Buse saved it anyway. He knew absolutely nothing about it. He's done superbly well there. The flag was up anyway. It wouldn't have counted, but nevertheless, Will Buse with another top stop. So it's a big free kick for Weymouth. Maguire Drew swings it in, up into the air, Torre might meet it, heads it down, who's he going to fall to? Thompson, who could it be? It's going to drop to Calvin Brooks, and it's in by Charlie Rowan who wheels away in celebration for Weymouth. 
Just when it looked like the game had ebbed to a stoppage, it looked as though Weymouth were out of it. And just like that, it's been bundled home by Charlie Rowan. And Rowan, well, he's loving a goal in the league so far. An important goal at home to against Worthing to give themselves a draw there. Has he rescued a point here for Weymouth once again at the Bob Lucas Stadium? It's happy hunting ground for Charlie Rowan and he strikes home. It's Weymouth 1, Chesham United 1. Maguire drew then. Swings this one in at the near post. It was Pollock that was rising, but it's come back to Maguire Drew, to O'Connell. O'Connell has space, gets his cross in, flicked on by Pollock. The goalkeeper comes for it, instead he backs away. Who will it fall to? Rowan on the turn! And it's been given, I believe, as a offside, I think, potentially on Charlie Rowan. Six minutes then of additional time. Six minutes for Weymouth to try and find themselves an equaliser. That's the momentum so far. Weymouth, it's been Weymouth ever since that equaliser they've been on top and now they can come forwards again McCoy to O'Connell O'Connell in space lifts the ball out wide to Bartolo Bartolo on the edge of the box now swings the ball in low it's met by O'Connell and a good save by Ben Good in fact it was actually Ben Greenwood I think who'd got in there swung towards the back post Buse can't get there it's come off the bar away by Weymouth the game will be over shortly you'd assume but is there time for one last attack Greenwood with a good sliding challenge Pollock keeps it in Hamblin hooks away and there is the full time whistle at the Bob Lucas Stadium